Start by saying some of the demos that I saw, um, people trying it, they didn't actually break, almost like break the seal of the product. So what you have to do is when it first comes like this, you have to like press into it and then you use it. Cause if you don't do that first, it's almost like you're just getting, whoops, way too much. <laughs> You're, get, you're just getting like a little bit of a film feeling or almost like a, like a waxy feel without much color deposit if you were to do that without actually breaking it. So as you can see, now that I've broken it, you're seeing a lot of color payoff. Now watch what happens as I continue to work it in. If you are curious, this is the Miracle Bomb in the Sun Kiss shade. Now I tried bronze and I think that that is um, a bit closer. I actually have a demo of it. I will show you in a second, but I think that would be kind of my shade range for wearing it as a bronzer. So I think this would be more suitable for someone with a deeper complexion. Um, and they have different kinds and different shades of Miracle Bomb. So I just wanted to start with that. I can see how, first of all, some people might not apply it and get any color pigment coming off because maybe they didn't know that you had to break the seal. Secondly, another negative is people say it's very sticky. I get that too. I thought that originally, like when I put it on, and now that, you know, it's on right now, yes, there is a little tackiness to it, but I mean, I'm not touching my face. I feel fine. I don't feel weird or like anything. I feel really moisturized. I have dry skin. I think this might be a product that is most suitable for people with dry skin, if I had to guess, and also aging skin. Um, I am now 40 years old. I know, no, surprise, surprise, if you've been following me for a while. We grew up, guys. <laughs> um, and so for me, my skin obviously has more lines than it did maybe when I was, you know, 10 years younger or whatever. And so certain products that I have powders um, tend to sit in the crevices a bit more and are not as flattering now as products that are a bit more creamy based. Um, and I think that's just what happens as you, you age. And so I do think this would be a great product for someone that does have aging skin as well. Again, this is a product where you are using your hands. So, so keep that in mind. It's not for everyone. I think it applies really good with your hands, kind of warm it up. And yeah, so I'm going to show you my little demo of me applying my makeup using Jones Road Beauty and, you know, just trying out different things for a more natural look. I tend to do a lot of, you know, full glam looks, especially with the shorter hair now. I just, I feel inspired to do fun looks. Um, but as a mom that's busy, there's a lot of times where I do need to just throw on a little bit of something, especially when I'm in the car and I'm just kind of you know, after school drop off or whatever in the morning and I want to look a little bit alive, I might, you know, need something to kind of throw on. And so I think, I think these products are great for that as well. And heading into spring, summer when, you know, you tend to not do as much with the makeup, but rely on skin for that glow. This would be great as well. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you. Hey friends. So I was recently gifted some products from Jones Road Beauty. Normally what I do with PR products is I will try different little things here and there and then whatever I like, I will put it in a video and then share it that way. But I thought this time I would do a bit of a kind of a, like a first impressions so you can see me trying out the products and let me know what you're interested in if you have any questions and it'll all be in one spot. So first of all, I was committing to just using Jones Road Beauty in one video and then I realized I don't have anything for my eyebrows. So I used the eyeshadow that they sent as kind of like my little makeshift eyebrows and eyeliner. Um, I think it worked okay, um, but I just want to put that out there because I was not about to have no eyebrows and just a brow gel. My eyebrows are way too thin for that. Uh, as you'll see, I am now applying the Miracle Bomb. So the Miracle Bomb comes in different shades and it's kind of like a multi-purpose, multi-use thing. So the one I'm using right now is in the bronze shade. So of course I'm using it like a bronzer, but you could use it any way you like, really. You could use it as an eyeshadow. Um, this is another Miracle Bomb in the Miami Beach color 
and as you can see i am using it as a blush and it is buildable and it's also like as as i just like rub and rub into my skin it kind of you know it almost just looks like a flushed look like i was just working out or a little bit sunburned that really natural glow and then i'm trying one of their newer products at the end which is the tinted lippy sticks and they come in various shades as well I really like this brand for skin that is on the dry side and even aging skin where you want something a little bit more moisturizing. I think it's really pretty, very natural and also very easy. I don't need a bunch of brushes to apply it. I use my hands. That was good for me. Let me know what you guys think or if you're curious about this brand as well, if I can help you out. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye guys.